we will study uh, tabular analysis. Then first of all, what's a tabular analysis? Uh, let uh, to figure that out. Let's recall what is the extended accounting equation first, and then move on to the uh, hypothetical examples uh, to apply the tabular analysis. Okay, then. Beautifully, extended accounting equation. It begins from assets. And then uh, on the right hand side, we have liabilities. And in basic accounting equation, it's assets. But we've seen that assets can be decomposed into several different items, such as sales or revenue. Again, we are using sales and revenues interchangeably in this class, minus expense plus owner's capital. Minus owners, joy. Right? Tabular analysis means we will check out using a hypothetical uh, example whether this extended account equation holds, meaning the equality holds across different uh, transactions. Okay, then let's have a look at the textbooks uh, cases. Rainil decides to start a smartphone app development company, which he names Softbike. On September 1st, 2020, he invests 15,000 cash in the business. This transaction results in an equal increase in assets and owner's equity. Uh, as you saw, we have here cash accounts, uh, assets equals liability and end owner's equity. And what uh, by this transaction, what kind of items are affected? Again, the transaction is the founder, the owner invests cash in his or her own business. So from company's viewpoint, cash is received. So cash is increasing and cash is an asset item. So we can say that cash, cash increases by uh, the same amount, 15K, which results in the increase in owner's capital by the same amount. So we can say that Cash on the left hand side equals the owner's capital on the right hand side. Cool. Then let's have a look at transaction number two. Softbite purchases computer equipment for 7,000 cash. Again, what's the equation? The equation is assets equals liabilities. plus equity and what you are seeing is the company purchases computer by paying out cash then what is increasing and what is decreasing your computer equipment is increasing and the decreases are on the cash balance so we can say that again we have decrease in cash by how much by 7K. And we have equipment, uh, again, PPE, equipment increases. Equipment, uh, where you can find the equipment, assets, liability, equity. Yes, it is assets. So equipment is increasing by the same amount. Then we can say that the same amount plus negative, so it, they cancel out. And we can say that the equation holds. Okay. And then uh, soft white purchases for 1600 headsets and other accessories. 
expected to last several months. The supplier allows SoftBite to pay this bill. What does that mean? You, SoftBite, the, do not pay the cash. Uh, and we call this kind of debt as, do you remember? Yes, yes, yes. It's accounts payable, which is a liability item. Well, why do we owe? Well, what do we owe? We owe them the money because we got these items, headsets and other accessories. Typically, uh, uh, yeah, one of the typical examples we uh, did, couldn't cover from the apples and fruits example is supplies. Like um, uh, this small amount of accessories that is necessary, uh, uh, small amount of uh, uh, economic resources that can be wasted soon uh, are called supplies. Uh, typical examples like paper, pencil, uh, pen, this kind of things. So the reason why we didn't see in apples and forts examples is uh, they are typically of little amount relative to the company's total asset. You said you saw that uh, Apple's and Ford's total assets is like hundreds of billions of dollars, right? And uh, what should be the value of pens and paper and small amount of accessories that they can waste? What do you think? <laughs> uh, should be less than, I don't know, $1 million, right? Then it is uh, of a size of less than 1% of the total assets. In such a case, companies uh, may not have to uh, disclose fully uh, about their cost or the size. Okay, so uh, again, uh, as you can guess, these supplies are one of the assets item and accounts receivables are liabilities item. Then is the accounting creation hold? Yes, they are. Accounting equation is assets equals liabilities and equity. And we are seeing that supplies as an asset is increasing by 1.6K, which is balanced with an increase in accounts payable by the same amount. We can say that the equation holds in this case. All right. And then uh, the next case is SoftWhite receives 1200 cash from customers for app development service it has performed this month. Please pay special attention here about the expression What's written? Services performed. Okay. Services performed is a typical phrase that describes the revenue or sales. Okay. Uh, the accounting standards are very specific about the revenue recognition. Right, uh, we don't deal uh, in depth about the definitions, but here in this textbook, uh, uh, it, when you see the service performed, you may regard that oh, the authors want to want us to uh, record the revenue or sales. Well, to say simply uh, about the accounting standards, you need to recognize the revenue only when. The timing is important only when you perform your service or your obligation is satisfied. Okay. Uh, again, uh, when you see this phrase service performed, uh, you uh, need to be ready to recognize the revenue. Okay. The company receives cash, which is an asset item, right? because the revenue is generated. We 
can say this uh, in this way. Then is the account equation, account equation hold. Again, what's that? Assets equals liability plus equity when equity is sales minus expense plus owner's capital minus owner owner's drawing. We can say that sales or cash is increasing by 1.2K as sales or revenue or sales. increases by the same amount, amount. So we can say that the equation holds. Okay, let's move on. Software to receives a bill for 250 from the daily news for advertising, advertising its online website, but postpones its payment until a later date, meaning, Softbyte owes the payment to the daily news. Uh, what's the item here? Do you remember? Yes, yes, yes. It's accounts payable. Right? Uh, for what? Because of the advertising, right? You need to recognize advertisement expense. Then let's check whether the equation holds. What's that? Assets equals liability plus sales minus expense plus owner's capital minus owner's drawing, right? Is this equation hold? You can see that first accounts payable which is a liability item. And advertisement expense is an expense item, right? Again, we are increasing the debt. We are increasing the accounts payable. By how much? By 250, which is at the same time, we are seeing advertisement expense. By how much? By the same amount? 250. Is the equation hold? Yes, because this 250 is plugged in as expense. Then what do you see? Your plus, your plus liability is canceled out with a negative. 250, right? When 250 positive is plugged in into, as an expense, it is combined with a negative sign. As a result, uh, in within the equation, the expense is becoming a negative item. So positive 250 of accounts payable minus advertisement expense 250 yields the two are canceled out and zero. So we can see that the equation holds. Okay, service is performed. What's that? Service performed automatically. Should demand uh, you of revenue or sales uh, of uh, 3,500. The company receives cash, okay, cash, of 1.5K, which is an asset it's item. And it bills the balance on account, right? What's happening here? You performed 3.5 amount of the service out of 3.5, you received 1.5 as cash, the rest of them, 2K is billed, okay? Billed and there is no phrase that you received the cash, the billed amount, right? Uh, please pay attention here. 
on account is a typical phrase that you will see throughout this textbook uh, that represents, that describes the non-cash transactions. Okay, again, build 2000 to your customers, but it's not cash. You didn't receive cash. What's the account here? It's yes, yes, yes. Accounts receivable. Okay. In the real world, is it clear whether you received cash or not? Sure thing, you know it, right? Uh, in the real world, it's uh, obvious. Uh, in textbook examples, you know, uh, you cannot say, describe every single aspect of your business in just one or two sentences, right? So please bear with uh, this condensed uh, form of information. Uh, please uh, believe, I mean, accept this phrase on account as non-cash transactions. The authors use this expression, okay? How much? Two, okay. So what are we seeing? Again, account equation is assets equals liability plus sales minus expense plus owner's capital minus owner's drawing, right? And we are seeing that sales has been increased by 3.5. Account receivable. This is what kind of item? Yes, 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 it's assets. Um, accounts. Receivable, which is 2K, but also we see cash increase by 1.5K. Then is the equation hold? Yes. Does the equation hold? Yes. On the left hand side, we have sum of 2 and 1.5, which is 3.5. And on the right hand side, we have 3.5. So the equation holds. Okay, let's move on. Uh, transaction seven, soft bite pays. The following expense. Oh, it's obvious, right? In cash for the September, rent 600, salaries and wages 900 and utilities 200. What do we have uh, in the equation of assets equals liabilities plus sales minus expense plus owner's capital minus owner's drawing, right? We have cash payout. Is it increase on increase or decrease in cash? Yes, it is decrease. You have decrease in cash of 600, 900 and 200. Some of them, uh, I guess it is, how much is it? <laughs> 1700, right? So you have total cash decrease of 1.7K. Then on the uh, left hand, uh, right hand side, what do we have? We have the following expenses. Expenses such as rent expense, which is 600, salaries and wages expense, which is 900, and utilities expense, which is 200. The sum of them, again, 1700. When all of them are plugged in into this expense, right, they are attached with a negative sign, meaning within the equation, it becomes a negative number. So the negative cash uh, 1.7 equals negative 1.7 within the equation of the increase in 
expense. So we can say that the two are the same, the equation holds. Okay, soft bite pays uh, its 250 uh, daily news bill. Oh, do you remember that? I do, right? Where was it? Daily news, right? Daily news bill, 250. But you remember that we didn't pay cash. What's happening in transaction number eight is you pay the debt. Right. Previously, it recorded the bill as an increase in accounts payable. You pay the debt. What's happening? Assets equals liability plus equity. You pay out the debt. Your debt, which is on the tail of accounts payable, is decreasing by 250. because you're paying out cash. Again, your cash is decreasing, shrinking. Sad, right? And we can clearly see that the equation holds. Mm -hmm. Transaction number nine, the company receives cash with your assets equals liability plus equity. You receive cash, again, cash is increasing by 600. Why? Because the customers who had been billed for the service are paying out, right? Billed for the service, but didn't pay cash. What's that? Accounts receivable. Right, because those who are lab labeled as debtors, right? They pay out the cash. Accounts receivable, it's time to reduce it. It's time to reduce accounts receivable, which is an asset item. The same amount, what's happening? plus and negative 600 cancels out, which is, which makes the equation hold, right? Transaction number 10, the owner, Ray Neal, withdraws 1300 in cash, in cash from the business for its personal use. What's the equation? Assets equals liability plus equity, which is sales minus expense, plus owner's capital minus owner's drawing. What are you seeing? You are seeing the typical example of owner's drawing, right? Owner's drawing, 1.3K is made. When cash is withdrawn from the company's balance, 1.3K. Is the equation hold? Yes. Negative cash, 1.3, and owner's drawing, which increases, but when it is plugged in into the uh, equation, it has a negative sign. So negative 1.3 cash is the same as negative owner's drawing, which is 1.3. So we can say that the equation holds. Uh, uh, may, I ask, may I ask a question here? Are you interested, are we studying companies recording or the individual Ray Neal's uh, bookkeeping? We are now discussing the company's viewpoint. We are not studying uh, private banking, right? We are talking about companies record keeping, generating the information, so-called financial accounting, right? From company's viewpoint, this is obviously cash decrease, even though it's from individual Ray Neal's viewpoint, it's an increase in cash, right? 
I'm making a warning here because I saw that my uh, former students often said that, hey, cash is withdrawn, then it's an increase in cash. Yes, it's, it's true if you are interested in uh, the private banking, but no, we are not studying private banking. We are talking about the company. The company and the owner should be separated. They are different economic entities. You get it? As a owner, the company, uh, the owner can, uh, I mean, uh, the company's assets uh, like cash uh, at disposal of the owners. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, owners willing. But for example, let's make, a, uh, honestly, I am a owner of Apple. I'm not the owner. <laughs> right? I am 0.0001%, meaning one share owner of Apple. Cool, right? Then can I rate Apple's headquarter, right? At, where is it? Uh, San Francisco, right? San Jose. And then ask them, uh, I am the one 0.00001% owner of you guys and give me your cash. Can I say that? No, right? Again, the owner and the company should be separated. They are independent entities, right? And our viewpoint is the company's own, not uh, the owner's, right? Okay, we've seen the tabular analysis. And from now on uh, uh, till chapter four, uh, we will use these cases to further develop different types of uh, recording, so-called journal entries in chapter two and adjusting entries in chapter three and closing entries in chapter four. And we will develop uh, some of the concepts such as trial balance, general ledger, and uh, multiple step income statement, classified balance. All right, stay tuned uh, in the next video. Let's begin chapter two.